Hey everyone, welcome once again to the B-Movie Bunker. Today we're looking at 1989's Sundown, The Vampire in Retreat, brought to us by Anthony Hickox of Waxwork 1 and 2 fame. Um, what we have is the story of the town of Purgatory. This is it's kind of like an Old West type setting, but modern day. Uh, Purgatory is a town, it's like a town for reformed vampires, uh, run by David Carradine's Count Mardalak. He's brought these vampires here, they drink the synthetic blood, as opposed to feeding on humans like they did back in the old days. Of course, not everyone likes this, so John Ireland, playing the rebel leader, wants to overthrow uh, Mardalak and go back to eating humans like they did, you know, when back when being a vampire was fun and all about eating people. Um, bring in Bruce Campbell as a descendant of Von Helsing, and chaos kind of ensues in this whole kind of triangle of people trying to do things between Van Helsing and, and the Rebel and, and the Count. You know, you got all this stuff going on. <sighs> this one, it's good, campy fun. I, I do enjoy it. I did enjoy it, and, uh, you know, I, I revisited it. Um, the whole idea of, you know, vampires drinking, you know, this kind of, like, weird-looking substance. It's, you know, their blood substitute, and, you know, walking around in the daytime using some kind of special UV cream and wearing sombreros and all that kind of stuff. You get kind of that, a little bit of that Old West kind of feel from, from, the, from the movies. Um, and just some good some good roles in this one. I love John Ireland as as the villain. Um, and M.M. And Emmett Walsh, who, if you don't know him, he's in tons of stuff. If you see him, you'll go, oh, that guy playing just this curmudgeon vampire that's just always pissed off about stuff. So there are parts of it that are actually pretty fun. Um, I do feel that the movie, as it progresses, it starts to feel rushed. Like they ran out of time or money or they just wanted to wrap it up or whatever. And so it feels like, you know, they kind of like hurry up to get things done at the end. Um, it doesn't quite finish in the, in the way I had hoped it would. Um, I mean, this is not obviously not a big budget thing. I mean, the whole kind of stop motion bats are actually kind of, kind of charming in their own way. I like stop motion stuff. I've always been a big fan of that. Um, scale of 1 to 10... This is, it's it's kind of like getting a sunburn after a day out at the beach or the park or wherever you might go to have fun outdoors, in case you don't like the beach. Uh, you know, you have to do something fun, whether it was, you know, disc golf or, or, you know, playing frisbee or just having a barbecue, whatever. You had fun. As we start out kind of fun, but then, you know, as it progresses, you're like, oh, shit, I should have put sunscreen on, much like the vampires in the movie do. Because now... I'm kind of itchy, and I know it's going to hurt later, and it's going to peel, and it's going to look gross, and then, you know, I'm going to get that farmer tan, I'm going to look ridiculous. So, how I feel with this movie, it starts off pretty fun, and then it just doesn't quite deliver through at the end. So, you know, at the end, you, you're left feeling kind of itchy and, and chapped. Um, so, that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.